Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how well Unique's foundation works. Um, I've already applied my primer, which for the month of October, when you buy primer, you get $5 in Unique cash. Yay! Um, so I've already done that. Now I'm going to take Unique's Press Touch Powder. It comes with a little, it has a little white pad. I'm not sure where I put that right now, but, and then a little clear case here so you don't lose you don't get all the stuff on your white little pad that comes with I'm going to use Unique's foundation brush for this um, but here we go I use the pressed powder um, mostly because my skin's a little bit oilier I need to use my mirror this computer is a little backwards for me right now um, but they do have a cream foundation which some people with a little bit drier skin would probably like to use that better so as you can tell I'm already covering up my breakout that I got from eating a whole bunch of chocolates um, just paint it all over your face and it goes on really nice and light and it covers really well um, the more you put on obviously the more it will cover I personally don't like putting a whole lot on because then it looks a little fake um, but you can takes away that extra little bit of shine um, you just apply it all over your face and you want to make sure you're going in a down motion so that you're not going up against your hairs on your face I'll do the other side of my face. So I'm just doing a real quick job to show you guys how effective it is. And then I will apply my concealer on after. So this is a pressed powder, not a loose powder. There you go, they're pretty much invisible. Alright, then next I will apply Unique's um, Mineral Concealer. I personally just shake a little bit into the lid. It's got little holes in it like that. And I just shake it into the top of the lid a little bit. And then I grab my powder brush brush. And then just lightly apply it all over. Um, if you find that you're getting too much in one spot, you want to dab your brush in and then tap the bottom of it and it shakes the powder into the brush. Okay, and then next, if you want to do some highlighting, it's completely optional. I actually use my um, Fierce for my shadows. I used Frivolous for my overall face, and then any lightening colors, I like to use Fresh. Okay, so you can do shadows here. Suck in your cheeks and then blend it across so you don't get it all in one spot and go all the way to the side there. This helps make your face look a little bit skinnier. You can do it a little bit, you can do it a lot depending on your preference. Another option for shadows is for doing your eyebrows. It helps, I just do it a little bit lightly. It helps fill it in just a little bit and it's already um, the same color as the skin tone right so it's not going to stand out too much and do both sides you want to do little strokes versus big long ones okay and then for sh lightening which I actually did those backwards you probably want to use the lightening first and then the shadows and just tap it in, and you can do down your nose 
on this section here. Under your eyes. Helps brighten up your eyes a little bit. And there you go. And then another spot is underneath your brow bones. Does a little bit of highlighting here. It really helps define your eyes a little bit more. Alright, there you go. And as you can tell, my eyelashes look a little bit different. This eye has regular mascara on it, and this eye on the top has Unique's 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. So you can see the difference there. So length, no length whatsoever. Um, but yeah, if you want to try any of this product or get your Gl Glorious Primer, which is very nice and smooth for uh, where you get $5 in unique cash back, you have to order it by the before October 31st. So you can go to my website, www.uniqueproducts.com slash Amanda Montgomery. Have a great day, guys.